Hey everyone, here's a look at our Prism Photo Effects and Abstract Lens Effects for Photoshop. The ultimate Prism Effect Photoshop templates for unique kaleidoscope and diopter effects with drag and drop ease. Prism Image Effects is like having 30 lens filters in your camera bag for the price of one. A powerful tool in every creative's toolkit. Drag and drop your image into ready-made compositions with pre-designed abstract lens effects and export. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these Photoshop templates and transform your imagery with stunning prism distortions, unique glass effects, and bokeh effects sourced from authentic prism lens effects and split diopters. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community, leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's going to come with three different folders. You wanna get the landscape layouts, the square layouts, and the vertical layouts. And so each one has eight different prism effects. Um, and prism templates. They're all a mirror. They're just different aspect ratios. So your square is gonna be a one-to-one, -one, which is great for social media. All of these are great for social media, for producing poster designs, album artwork, anything like that. And all around just great prism effect look for your graphics. You know, as we can see, we have your center prism, your center split diopter, kaleidoscope, linear prism, split diopter, split prism, square prism, and triangle prism looks. So let's just go ahead and show you how easy it is to start editing these and get some really cool looks. We're gonna click into our landscape folder and pull up the kaleidoscope photo effects. And here you go. This is how the template looks. With the kaleidoscope one, we're giving you six different kaleidoscope looks that you can easily cycle through to get the look that you want. And to go ahead and customize this, you click on your Replace Me layer. And in here, it'll pull you up. And we'll go in and we will just add a new photo, drag it in. Just scale it up and change the position. The effect really pulls from the center of the canvas. And then you want to save that. Make sure that it's saving in this kind of pre-comp. Then click into your original composition and here it is, your effect. So you can easily cycle through all the looks that you want and find the one that's right for you. Say we want this one and go up file and then just go to save as. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel. One way to customize this further let me show you is basically you can click into any one of these folders say for this one kaleidoscope 4 where there's just kind of three prism looks around the center of the image and here you can basically go in and click on the layer that you want and move it so if you want to customize it a little bit further you can click on the layer and then you press command t for transform and then you can move it to wherever you want within the frame, press return and click to the next one. Maybe move that one up or over a little bit more. And so you have full customization of that kaleidoscope and you know that prism effect look, which is awesome. That's what we really wanted in this pack of templates is to give you full creative control and just have kind of the raw materials built out for you. And then you can go in and customize it to your liking. You can select the folder and Apple T again, and then you can kind of just move the whole effect around if you want. There you go. You can do this with every single template. So each template is built identically. So there you go. And then just go ahead and save as to your folder. And that's how easy it is to really get some great kaleidoscope looks, super easy and quick with this Photoshop template. I'm going to click out of this and show you again, just really quick for the 
other aspect ratios and layouts. So let's go ahead and go to our square folder and check out what the linear prism looks like. And same thing, right? We have a number of folders with different looks and layers to it. And you can go into the replace me layer, you double click on it, and then pull up your photos. And let's go ahead and let's use this image, drag and drop it in, resize it, and reposition it to have the subject be a little bit more directly in the center of the frame. Then save it. Click back into your composition layer, and there you go. Again, you have all of the effects. This one is the linear prism effects, seven different versions. You have one that's kind of slant left, slant right, straight on, which is this really cool kind of double exposure look. Up, up and down, across, left to right. And you kind of have this a little bit more of like this glass effect look, um, where it's kind of shooting through plexiglass almost. Um, and then the same look again with just less panels. So really like that look. I think that's cool and unique. Um, again, and then just go to save as and export it to whatever format you would like. And let's just go ahead and show you again really quick the vertical versions. Um, let's try one of the split prisms. This is kind of one of the and once again, you have the folders and different looks and you can click into the replace me layer, double click on it, go back to your images and go ahead and let's try this image. Drag and drop it in, scale it up and reposition to what you'd like. Since the prism effect really takes hold in the center of the frame, I'm going to scale this one up just a little bit further and save. And then once it saves, click into the main composition and cycle through the different looks that I would like. This one's really cool. Kind of looks like you're shooting through a rectangular prism attached to the front of the lens. That looks great. And let's just say, okay, I want to customize this one just a little bit more. I can go ahead and select that layer, press Command T for transform, and I can reposition that wherever I want. If I want to have her eyes on that layer show up a little bit more noticeably in that effect, um, and then click on these other three because you're getting this blue, green, red spectrum that we've added to that image, and maybe just reposition that a little bit more down as well. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use these Photoshop templates and get killer kaleidoscope looks and, sp and split diopter effects on your imagery and graphics. So have fun with this. We highly recommend checking out the video version of these prism effect templates. It's the after effects version of these prism effects. It's an excellent complimentary template for your post-production toolkit. You can easily apply all the same prism effects directly to any video clips and export them to any video software instantly. It's great for content creators of all kind, from production companies and creative agencies to freelance filmmakers and video editors. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.